Hey everyone, welcome to Stonehearth Desktop Tuesday. We've had a very productive last few days here at the office, so today I would like to show you two things. One from Tom, and one from Yang. Each of these things is interesting by itself, but when combined together, I think they offer some really tantalizing possibilities, especially for those of you who mod, or who consume mods. The first feature is the new Raya's Children UI. As you can see here, we have an early Little Raya's Children settlement in our recently remodeled, but still in progress, desert biome. As Raya's children are natively from the desert, which has very few trees, and is all about the potter, clay, and trade, it would seem a bit weird if their UI had the same heavy woods that you're used to from the Ascendancy. So here you can see that Tom has implemented a whole new UI theme for this kingdom by lightening the palette, changing some key colors, altering their banner, and giving them a distinctive town button. The new UI doesn't have any gameplay implications, but we think it contributes a ton to the consistency and character of the kingdom. Now, the other exciting feature from Yang is about how this UI is implemented. We've definitely had fan mods before, most memorably Maturion's Egypt mod, that have changed the look and feel of the UI using overrides. However, overrides overwrite existing assets, so using them and having them alone to change the UI would mean that were we to switch from Rise Children, from a Rise Children save, to, say, an Ascendancy save, we would not be able to load the Ascendancy's brown wood UI because, from the game's point of view, it's gone. What Yang has implemented is the ability to hot load and unload mods. In this case, it means that the Rise Children UI mod is loaded when you select Rise Children as your kingdom, and unloaded if you switch to an Ascendancy kingdom. Let's try that now. As you can see, here we are at a bustling Ascendancy town, and we are now restored to our usual dark wood UI. Switch back to Rise Children, and the mod loads again, and now we have our pale clays. So, for all of you modders, I'm sure that you want to know, how does this happen? Well, as I mentioned earlier, Rise Children and Rise Children UI are implemented separately from Stonehearth as two distinct mods. The Rise Children mod is loaded when the game starts, but the RC UI mod is not, because its manifest file marks it as deferred load. Meanwhile, in the Raya's Children manifest file, the client in its script line is set to a Lua file called Raya's Children Client. This Lua file begins to run as soon as the mod is loaded. If we look at that Raya's Children Client file, we can see that as soon as the game is initialized, we start listening for changes to the player service. If any of these changes says that the current kingdom is Raya's Children, we hot load in the Raya's Children UI mod. The RC UI mod has all the other has all the UI overrides in it. It's only at that moment that the mod is loaded that the UI is overridden to go from wood to clay. Having the ability to load and unload mods at runtime opens up a lot of possibilities. For example, would you like to change the UI but only during combat? A mod could now conceivably do such a thing, and changes to the UI are only the beginning. I personally cannot wait to see what you guys all manage to do once you can turn overridden assets on and off as the game runs. And that's it for today's Desktop Tuesday. You can look for Rise Children and the hot loading mod feature in Alpha 13 whenever they make it onto the next unstable version that we push to Steam. In the meantime, you can find all of our Stonehearth updates on our dev blog at stonehearth.net, and we encourage you to leave questions and comments there, or on our forum at discourse.stonehearth.net. We also stream ourselves building the game three times a week on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and details for that are on our website. Thank you again for joining us for this Desktop Tuesday, and we look forward to seeing you next week.